The central problem in AI to be solved across all of the conversations with experts is one of alignment. Within the context of artificial intelligence, alignment refers to our ability to steer the outputs of an AI system toward the goals and intentions of the designer, and to be used safely by a large number of people, some of whom will inevitably be bad actors and trolls. You can likely see the significant issues inherent in this. Humans can barely keep their New Year's resolutions after a couple of months, so how are we supposed to do this for a technology that will very soon be degrees of magnitude more intelligent than humans without an effective systems of checks and balances? A classic scenario to demonstrate this point is designing an AI system to fix all the damage humanity has done to the planet. So, the AI goes about its task, trying all sorts of innovative and technological solutions, but ends up deciding the only way to effectively achieve its goal is to remove humanity from the equation. So it does. Oops. I realize there might be some opinions about this specific scenario, but I would like for you to consider the ideas behind it rather than the example itself. We will discuss this more in our conversation about our first contact with robust AI, social media, in a future blog, but the takeaway now is that we encode a goal into an algorithm, and that algorithm executes its mission in unpredictable ways which can potentially have harmful effects without easy ways to mitigate or stop. It's like the classic monkey paw story. Be careful what you wish for. Moloch Before we get too deep, I want to give you a brief introduction to humanity's greatest foe, Moloch. He appears first in the Bible and wheedles his way throughout history, taking many forms, but at his core, imagine him as the Hollywood version of the devil who convinces you to sell your soul in exchange for what you want the most. He is the greatest negotiator who ever was, cleverly convincing you what is in your best interest and distracting you from the true impact of your sacrifice until it's already been made and the deal done. The worst part is we all know Moloch's reputation see exactly what he's doing to us, but the carrot is just too close and the stick so far and difficult to comprehend beyond the abstract. Or worse, perhaps we think we can beat Moloch at his own game, relying on our own hubris to fall straight into his monstrous clutches. Moloch's newest tool is something coined Generative Large Language Multimodal Models, GLLMS, or Golems, which is how we will refer to them throughout this series. For those of you who don't know the mythology behind golems, they are automatons made of something like clay from Jewish folklore, and imbued with an intent through writing its purpose on a piece of paper and inserting it into the golem. To be clear, golems are not in any way inherently evil or otherwise dangerous. Golems can be victims as well, or support a community, or serve as a friend. It's clay, animated by the magic of the user's intent. Sound familiar, fellow chatters? Like the above example on climate change, I also don't want you getting stuck in any one example. Moloch could just as easily be Sauron helping Middle Earth to develop ring technology. On a macro scale, Moloch is the systems within which humans operate, incentivized by self-interest in the short term, in exchange for harming themselves and everyone else in the long run. A simple way to demonstrate this is through the tragedy of the commons, and many other ideas found in game theory or behavioral economics, such as the prisoner's dilemma. The general idea is that when you create an unregulated common space, people will act in their own self-interest to exploit it. Not from any malevolence, but from a desire to profit and progress. When the resource in question is finite, such as land for farming, this creates an incentive structure whereby everyone is playing a zero-sum game and will overdevelop in order to maximize personal profit and gain. The problem very quickly becomes that the land is used up, is no longer arable, and the agriculture fails on the systems level for everyone, even if you personally are not participating in the exploitative development. Aristotle once pointed out, that which is common to the greatest number gets the least amount of care. Men pay most attention to what is their own. They care less for what is common. It's difficult not to go in a lot of directions with this idea, but in a lot of ways, this is why private property is important. 
If you feel like you own something that is related to your well-being, you are more likely to be a better steward of it. In absence of that, there needs to be an overarching authority to set standards, norms, and rules, and then enforce them for the commons. The problem is, what happens when it's Moloch writing the rulebook and setting the norms? What if the promise of power and riches disguises the more devastating promise?